What do you do today, Maureen? Nothing, because... So while the cat's away, the mouse will play. Mom's currently up with grandma. And so I like to do one of our back burner projects whenever she's away. Just have a little surprise that something's done. We know that the harvest season is coming up very soon here. Or, well, in a couple of months, we'll be harvesting things. There's only so much freezer space that you can have. And we've got some things that carried over from last year that we haven't canned up just yet. So I decided that I am going to make strawberry rhubarb pie filling. Wow! wow. Super tasty. Please excuse the furnace and the dishwasher going at the same time. I'm not used to filming all the time by myself. <laughs> but I thought I would put this together so she can edit it for a long form video for herself. So here's surprise number two, mom. You have to edit the video. Only have to do editing? Easy peasy, Woohoo! I found a recipe online that I'm excited to use and this one does not have any clear gel in it. A lot of times you add cornstarch or clear gel to thicken a recipe. And this one is actually calling for Granny Smith apples as they're high in pectin so they create that thick cohesive texture. So yeah, come along as I can some things up from my mom. You get the picture. I'm filling up the water canners. We are ready. I've got my rhubarb defrosted as well as the strawberries defrosted. Wash the apples, wash the oranges. I feel weird about this. Commentary. So what it asks for us in the recipe to do is to mix the rhubarb, the apple, the orange all together and put it into this pot here. A couple of the steps that I have to take is the apples must be peeled, cored, and sliced. The orange, they've asked for it to be zest on the outside and then using the juice. One of the tricks that I have learned uh, with cooking to help enhance an orange flavor um, into something is to actually mix it with the sugar. We know that we are going to be adding sugar to this, so I'm going to zest this into the sugar, give it a little bit of a massage to let the oils kind of mingle, and that will hopefully help to deepen that little bit of citrus brightness that is added to the pie filling. Mom, I am hoping that you can use this footage. I keep using my thumbs up. I'm trying not to say us, but I'm stuck, I think. Um, uh, um, uh. All right, so I peeled, cored, and sliced the apples, and I added the sugar with a little bit of zest in it, as well as the orange juice. We are starting from previously frozen rhubarb, and the recipe does say fresh. I unfortunately couldn't find anything that showed what to do when you have frozen produce and you're moving it over, with the exception of a stewed rhubarb. We want the pie filling. Well, we sure do. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna be a little bit different. Uh, I know that some of the moisture has already seeped out. Um, as you probably saw, there was a little bit of a pink measuring cup that had a bunch of the juices. I've gone ahead and poured that into a couple of our plants outside. And the other thing that I also have done is kept all of the apple peels. These were organic apples. And so I'm going to make sure that I stay on top of making apple cider vinegar later <laughs> but for now we're gonna do the recipe and this one calls for seven cups of cleaned rhubarb at about a one inch segment each I realize again that I'm going from frozen as opposed to the fresh it then asks for one quart of strawberries about four cups I again have frozen, these ones we've purchased from the store because it's not yet strawberry season here. And then further to that, it did ask for three large apples or about one and a half pounds. As you saw, I did a lot of apples because these ones were on a small size. I ended up buying a three pound bag in lieu of that, which works out. And then there's four cups of sugar for the entire batch. And then that little bit of orange zest and a little bit of orange juice. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on all of this. Yay! <laughs> I'm looking at this. I'm gonna bring it closer to myself. 
Oh, and the seven cups, I actually meant 14 because I'm doubling this recipe. These were harvested last year in July from our own garden. Let me get it up to that seven mark here. I love strawberry rhubarb pie. It's definitely one of my favorite summer pies. I love a good lemon meringue. Every now and again, a good like key lime pie is also tasty. I love strawberry rhubarb crumble as well. And actually my mom, growing up, when you had fresh rhubarb from the garden, you wouldn't dip it in sugar. And then you would dip it in salt. She said her father did it. I believe it was her father or it might be my grandma, my, her mom. Um, and I've done it as well. And I actually like it better than I like the sugar. Uh, it brings out a little bit of bitterness, which is super good for your stomach. Don't judge, it's tasty. Try it. Looks like I am probably not making stewed rhubarb. I have the seven cups and a little extra. So I'm wondering if I can maybe fudge this a little bit. That's the 14 in total. How much more do we have? So if I cook it down, maybe we're mathing together right now. We're problem solving. If I cook it all down, we might be able to fudge it a little bit. <laughs> all right, five cups. All right, so there is an extra five cups in here. Typically when you're canning, of course, you do want to follow the recipe for safety and health guidelines because this has uh, an acidity to it and the amount of sugar. I'm not scared about the preservation for this, and I'm also going to cook down the rhubarb itself. Unfortunately, because this was not done by weight, necessarily for the whole recipe. There is a tiny little bit of a gamble, but I'm okay with that. So it has stated for the recipe to put all of the rhubarb in, as well as the apples, the sugar, and the orange, leaving the strawberries out. And we're gonna cook that for roughly about 15 to 25 minutes. Am I doing okay, mom? Am I doing okay? This is what we're looking at. We are going to bring this whole thing to a boil and then uh, it asks for us to simmer it afterwards until everything is soft and then we'll be adding the strawberries afterwards. We are at a stage of softness and with a little light simmer bubbling away, I'm going to add the strawberries now. I'm also going to give it a nice little stir and it asks to go up to a hard boil. We are now ready to start the canning process. I've got pie filling in here. So I still follow the method of hot jars, hot lids, and hot contents. So we're going to grab our jars and start filling them up. In this case, they said to leave about a one inch head space before putting it into the water bath. All right, here we go. We did it. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much, Marissa. I so really appreciate this. It just does take a huge load off of my shoulders. So again, thank you. And I hope you all enjoyed.